This will be our global broadcast generic. First question for Kelly, what attracted you to the project? Um, so many things. I think, yeah, firstly, just the fact that it's part of the Disney animation world. And then growing up as a kid, that was, I was so obsessed with all of the Disney animated movies and recognizing the legacy behind that, I think is definitely one of the things that attracted me to it. The second thing is just the representation aspect of it, recognizing that this movie was going to be inspired by the part of the world that my family's from, um, made me really excited. And the third thing is that Raya is a very different type of character. And I think Disney's really trying to broaden the idea of what people think when they think of the words hero, when they think of the word princess, like Raya is unlike any princess or hero we've seen in this world before. And I think that, uh, yeah, it's really cool to be a part of. And Aquafina, what attracted you to the project? I think what attracted me to the project um, was was just hearing what it was about um, and and uh, how it would it would not only feature um, kind of the, the cultures of Southeast Asia but also its, its first Southeast Asian Disney princess and then hearing about the character that that they had in mind for me Sisu um, that she was able to kind of explore being funny but then also uh, being uh, you know having these kind of like a tear teary tear jerker scenes that really I kind of I loved reading um, and and I think playing her was was really just a really just the greatest one of the greatest joys of my life um, it really really loved it. Kelly much has been said about Raya being the first Southeast Asian princess so how do you feel about getting to voice her and how is she different from other princess characters that we have seen? Um, yeah, I feel like it is and doesn't really make sense. Um, it's really incredible to be a part of. And when I think of, um, yeah, just the legacy of all of these incredible Disney movies and, and specifically if we're talking about Disney princesses, um, yeah, Raya is a really different character. And, and I wanna be really specific about the way that I, I speak about Disney princesses. I think a lot of times people say there's sort of an, a negative connotation um, about those earlier movies. And I don't necessarily believe that. I think those earlier movies are, are really good. I think the problem is when we sort of have a really narrow perception of, of what it means to be a princess. And now we're sort of opening opening up the doors in terms of uh, the types of people that we think of when we think of those words, because there really is nothing wrong with like wanting to be in love or liking pretty dresses. There's nothing wrong with that. I think what happens is the danger becomes when we um, only see the same types of, uh, of, yes. of representation over and over and over. So you think that's the only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. That's when it becomes a negative thing. I, 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 so it's really cool that we are, you know, part of a movie that is, that is changing that. And Raya is someone who is a warrior and um, who gets to be really angry, which we haven't seen before, who, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just really excited for people to see this movie and to meet this character. Beautiful. Aquafina, Sisu is an unusual dragon character. She certainly doesn't fit the mold. What do you find the most fun about playing her and how is she a relatable character? I mean, I, I always love playing relatable characters. I never really thought that I'd find one in a dragon. I think uh, with the normal way that we're introduced to those characters is, is kind of a, in my experience, I, I think of I think of a, well, the Game of Thrones dragons comes to mind where, you know, they're kind of just these symbols of, uh, they're just so cool. You know what I mean? And and while Sisu is very, very cool, she's also imperfect and flawed and she's aware of those flaws. And she's she's very trusting and like loving almost to a fault. She's innocent. Um, these are all traits that uh, I think at certain times in my life I can identify with and um, that, you know, I, I just really had fun playing, exploring, yeah. Amazing. Tell us about the unusual experience of recording from your homes and working with the directors over the internet. What was the most challenging and what was the most fun? We'll start with Kelly. Uh, the most challenging thing about working from home, well, I was really lucky because my boyfriend's a genius and was able to, to create this incredible setup where, um, actually Aquafina, I wanted to ask, did you have to do a lot of ADR lines? Um, I, I did do ADR. I don't know. I don't know what, what's considered a lot. I think it was maybe yeah. one or two sessions of it. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so my boyfriend's like a crazy genius. I'm not sure how he did it, but because of his setup, I only had to do like, I'm not exaggerating, like four lines for the whole Oh, movie. oh well, I think it's his setup, but also, you know, probably your performance. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty, pretty, you do it. <laughs> my, I'm pretty sure it's his microphone. Um, Can I have come over? I mean, like... <laughs> I think I'm. I think we're still in ADR. The movie's coming out. Yeah, you want to come over? I have an ADR and, uh, session tomorrow, actually. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the challenges were that um, obviously we'd have loved to have been in the same room and be able to uh, uh, sort of create that really cool, like creative collaboration that happens when you're all in the same place, like space and playing off of each other. Um, but that being said. Oh yeah, wait, sorry, more challenges. The list goes on and on. The internet cutting out, bad. Uh, any sounds from outside? And there's a lot of construction around. A lot right? of sounds. A lot of sounds. And hold traffic from yeah. the inside. Sirens, just like constant barrage. Yelling. Around. Yeah. Um, but that being said, I will say there were some positive experiences about it. And, <laughs> and, and those included being able to see inside people's homes and, you know, and getting more of their personality. Okay. I know that sounds so creepy, but I no, it's not, it's true. That's like, so true. Talk about Carlos's plants. That guy has a flourishing plant population. <laughs> I was in his office most of the time. Really? Really? He didn't show the, I wasn't, I, I didn't show when we were in sessions, he was mostly in his office, which didn't have a lot of plants. It had a lot of light though. It was a room with good light. Really? Okay. So, so we know that about his house. Um, <laughs> that's why he has a lot of plants. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he lives in an atrium. I have no idea, but I loved <laughs> guessing. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, getting to see like more parts of people's lives that we wouldn't normally get to see was pretty cool. Thanks. And then what do you hope audiences will take away when they see Raya and the Last Dragon? Aquafina, I'll start with you. I hope audiences um, see the message that I think is, is a really big part of, of, of the movie and I think of all Disney movies. Um, but for this one, uh, trust and unity over hate. And, and also I hope that um, some, some people can, can watch the movie and, and identify a familiarity about, about the, the places and the people and the things that they're seeing. And then people who aren't familiar with it will gain some kind of understanding of what that world is like. Um, and, I, and I mostly hope that everyone enjoys it. Yep. Great. Kelly, anything to add? But yeah, I guess I agree with everything Aquafina said in terms of wanting people to leave with the idea that um, fighting for a better world, even if you're living during a time where, where you don't even know it exists, is a worthwhile cause. Um, and recognizing that the one thing to bring us out of all of this would be our communities and our relationships with each other. I think that that's um, something that stayed with me watching the movie and I, and I hope it resonates with people.